Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. So this is uh, Wednesday's literacy lesson. Uh, again, we're carrying on with the wishing story. Let's have a look at the model text. Um, so if you remember yesterday, um, we had it confirmed that the wish had been granted um, and it had somehow appeared on the object that had been given. So this is the next paragraph. It's just a short one today, so it's nice and easy. Um, so this is the model text. So Sarah leaned against the bin for support, her head spinning, her thoughts in turmoil. Then she gathered herself together. There was still one final wish left. Could she use it to try and bring Jack and Hope back? She needed a coin quick. So now this is what your main character is doing to get the wish reversed. OK, so um, we've got a lovely sentence here about how our main character is feeling. Um, when they realise the wish has been granted. Sarah Lean gets a bin for support, her head spinning, her thoughts in turmoil. So that's a show not tell sentence. It doesn't tell us explicitly how Sarah is feeling, but the fact that her head spinning, her thoughts are in turmoil, and she leaned, had to lean against a bin for support, tells us that she's probably um, very panicky. And she's panicking um, that Joe can, uh, Jack and Hope will never come back. OK, so if you could write me a really lovely show not to tell sentence to start this paragraph, then that would be great. OK, so and we've got another rhetorical question here. They love their rhetorical questions. Um, and again, um, a variety of um, sentence structures. So um, write me a paragraph then that tells me how your character is feeling after finding out that the wish are being granted. Um, and what they're going to do to get the wish reversed. Okay, um, remember to email us your work um, and then come back and we'll finish our story off tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye.